Lawnmower. Yo. Thanks to hear. Um, quick question. Um, as far as this, um, the notes go, and as far as like uh, acing the whole documents, um, because when I came into this information while I was um, going through um, the lectures and just finding all I can about the like, rally and stuff like that, one of the things that hit me while I was listening to the lecture um, was that he caused, um, he was the, the cause of um, the stock market crash and all. Back yeah. in the 30s. Yeah. And yeah. a whole bunch of things started running through my head. Like, as soon as that, that clicked, it was kind of like something was just pointing me somewhere in my head, just mentally. Um, do you have, like, or do you have, like, a certain um, amount of information or documents that, that are your go to documents as far as the validation it, it holds you? Nothing can break it, like, um, um, the Treaty of Peace and Friendship. Um, the Constitution, do you have like something that you would recommend to someone you, you meet for the first time? Like, check this out, check that out, you know? Like you said, um, how's the joint resolution 192 is right. one that pretty much protects yeah. us on the shit that we do, you right, know, right, as far right. as like debt and all that kind of shit, taxes and shit that they can send us, like, oh, you ought to get that. That one holds very, 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 very well. Mm -hmm. Um, documents. Other than that, um, I'm still studying, bro. It's like, you know, we got case law right, all over right. the <laughs> Or do you have any, like, a favorites, like, you know, that you go over and over? Um, whether it be um, Circle 7, um, the Red Book, like, when you go over them, do they hit you differently? Like, do you always get something, like, to build on, build on, build on? So yeah. Like, Me, personally, it's like, as much as I love books and, and literature, I learn differently, right? So, for me, like, I, I really do learn from watching a lot of the um Taj videos you know, it's up here and, and these guys is like and then I go back and now look up everything and talk about that's pretty much how I kinda of learn. You know, um I, yeah, I would have literature. I, I have um you know, you know Rocco J. Ed Rogers. Um, but other than that man, you know, I, I do research. I study their for me man. It's like I you know I go and look at pictures, photos and like, okay. Yeah, that definitely looked like that because my, my uncle, it'd be like somebody with the, the feathers on. And so it's like, I mean, it's just, it's no structured way to be able to get this information on, bro. This is the age of information, this is the age of queries. There's nothing that's not necessarily there for us right now. So um, for me, you know what I mean? I just kind of like, then I go live life when I put together certain things. And you know, I, I, I'm very heavy into like numbers, and morality. I'm very heavy into uh, astrology. I'm very heavy into metaphysics. Like these are this is all more science by the way. I, I, you know, when I spoke to uh, I spoke to Phil Valentine um, this summer, and um, we were talking. He was like, "Man, he's like, this is all more science, metaphysics." Because somebody says some shit about metaphysics, he's like, "Man, metaphysics ain't shit." And he was asking, me, uh, yeah, but like Phil was like, "It's all more science." You know, Phil don't necessarily be coming out talking about you know, everybody. He, he even told me himself, you know, "Alex, you got a little heat." But um, I feel like we got to study all of that. And then, you know, this is like when we were studying that game, you know, we study yourself because get out and live, see the synchronicity of things that's happening, see the numbers, connect the dots, and then you're able to like, oh shit, that's how you really learn. It ain't necessarily like, all this shit is already in us, right? right. All this information right. is already in us, we just need to remember this shit and bring it back out. It's not. So it's like when we move around, we recognize certain things. I asked Cruz the other day, I'm like, yo, bro, like, how the hell did you deal with all this shit when we first got to the movement? Like, you know, like all of the truths. He was like, man, the only the reason why I was able to get through it and grow from it was because I lived and dealt with certain experiences. I saw the shit work. So, like, I don't know, this is something that we have to continue to just, just live it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, now, as far as um, um, Negro Black colored people, um, I mean, you know, sometimes I sit with myself and I, and I often think, you know, I understand why certain things happen. Um, do you think Negro, Black, colored people, people who are tied to it, you know, do you think they'll ever get detached, like leave that branding system alone and realize that um, they, those things don't define them? You know, in your experience in the circle that you're in, do you ever think those people will wake up like one day and say, you know what? That's not me. I can't be black. You know? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. 
to that question, you know, that was a, you just gotta wait for it. Just let them repeat after. Elaborate at all, you know? Yeah, don't so start over. Can we start, can we start over? We got frozen on, on our side. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Um, to answer your question, um, everybody's going to get it mm. at one point. We're going to get it at different times. Mm. Um, the cool part about, you know, the creator, you can get it right eventually. It might not be in this lifetime, but eventually you're going to know who you are. <laughs> you're going to come back into the fold of who you are. And that's what it's always been about. And me personally, my, my personal opinion, I believe that's the reason why he, he allowed this this, this, this pale skin to kind of, you know, operate the way they're operating for us to get back to national. Right, right, right. That's just my, I don't know, I mean, shocking wrong, but when it's all said and done, some, you know, we all want to have our times like shit. Like last year, I thought I was black. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, I got you. Um, one more thing. Um, as far as the divine aspect of it, um, like, the transition from Christianity, where um, you know we've been taught that you know everything's outside of us, you know um, God in the sky, you know devil under us, and when you come into more science, we're going in circle seven, and we're told that you know man is Allah, Allah is man. There's no separation. Like how do you um, how do you keep that true to yourself as far as like you know putting aside all that Christianity dogma and just being focused on being alive and you know, not separating yourself from who you are. Um, kind of like, you know, you can't separate yourself from your parents, you know, your mom and your dad, that's you, you know, and so on and so forth from the generations that have um, come before. Um, meditation is huge for me. Um, I meditate. Um, I do everything along the lines of what was natural. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, our sun gaze. I keep myself close to nature. I do hikes. I do yoga and shit. Like, I keep myself along those lines of what nature already is. So it's like, it's easy for me to, like, you know, stay in that pocket now. Versus being outside of my vortex. It's like, I, I, I'm always in conflict. Like, that's why I'm going to write these dumbass ricks. Because, like, because they still thinking that we don't know what time it is. And I'm like, yo, bro, there's a, this it's duality, right? So we have to deal with certain things along the lines of understanding that they're like, at the end of the day, it's, that's just an illusion. Mm -hmm. So it's like, well, with that being an illusion, we still feel that. Um, so we have to always know that um, there's always going to try to, there's going to be individuals that try to take you away from your divine path. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why we're here, and you stay on your divine path with that distraction, quote unquote. And once you recognize that and you see it, obviously, like, oh shit, that ain't real. I gotta continue doing what I'm doing. Right, I gotta right. continue to stay on my square spiritually, you know what I'm saying? And, and um, you know, I don't even know if that will ever end, so to speak. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it does. You know, you know, what they say, perfection means death. So we're still here to, like, operate within the means of duality. Mm -hmm. So, with that being said, we have to still know. It's not be. We're in the world, but we're not of it. It's, right. And I'm trying to say. It, it's funny when you said that. You know, the first thing that hit me was, um, you know, as far as you know, you go in the Christian um, um, world, Christianity, Christian, um, they deal with um, that old hev um, God and devil. But you know, yeah. coming into Circle Seven, more science stuff. It's a matter of, you know, when you're saying like, you know, the battles between the higher and lower self. Yeah. You know, and when I started comprehending it from that perspective, a lot of stresses just started melting away. Because man, boy, because you stop being so judgmental about yourself, man. Yeah. You stop feeling like, oh, holy shit. Yeah. And you thought that, that I gotta go repent. Right. Or right, all right. this crazy snake, all this, who like this, man? The same motherfuckers who gave us these um things to believe, they gave us all this shit that seems impossible. Mm -hmm. They gave us a Christ, the Jesus. That seems highly uncopy. Like, come on, man. Nobody walked this earth and didn't do nothing wrong. Come on, man. It started like really like thinking. You feel me? Yeah. They gave us a system in which tells us like, okay, if your credit score ain't true, you ain't shit. So all these people who gave us these subject matters are the ones who are telling us 
that you have to never be perfect. Mm -hmm. And that's a trap. Mm -hmm. That Lord self is there for a reason, dog. Mm -hmm. It's there to keep you on track. Because mm -hmm. you didn't have no Lord self, you wouldn't even know what light it is, dog. Straight up. So they want to believe that, okay, oh, well, well, God is hope. Man, nah, look. If Jesus said that the kingdom of God is in you, where else is that? Why don't we keep trying to find this shit somewhere in the book? <laughs> but because, it's in us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when you say that, that means everything that when we open our eyes in the morning, we project everything. Like everyone in this room is projected by me. Vice versa, everyone sitting here projected me and their and their flow, right? We're all supporting actors. Um, for the movies that we each play on an individual micro level. But on a macro level, it's a whole different ballgame. You know, everything just cargo. It's like a clock, right? We all fit together and work together. But, you know, once we get to that point where we realize there's no good or bad, it's just classifications and things, then it all becomes a lot simpler. So then you can really stand, write that wreath, and then, you know, cast your spell, and boom, you know, poof. You can start enjoying your life, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. Sure. You don't get in that mindset like, okay, well, I, don't, I can't do that. Remember how Muhammad Ali said, like, why do I got to wait to die, die to experience heaven? I want, I want these things now. Like, yes, that's the whole thing. Like, that's a trick. Like, oh, shit, well, I mean, we can only be on earth because, you know, trying to be successful is going to be God deadly and shit. Like, it's funny. <laughs> It's funny, you know, when you look at all uh, the ancient, ancient stuff that's been left for us, they never really mentioned anything to do with economics or anything to do with, you know, you know, as far as money and wealth. It's all about the spiritual development, the breathing, you know, your, you know, coming here, learning your lesson and taking it to the next level. But, but they also understood that it was your birthright to be wealthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Because you need all those other It was nothing to talk about. Just like a, a, a trust baby. Mm -hmm. They don't necessarily have to deal with understanding what wealth is. It. They knew it. I'm like, what's real? Yeah. Just, no. Because everything. So when we shared. operated the way we was operating, we knew what time it was. Right, right, right. Bro, what is that? Right, right, right. Cool. There's a lot more. My dog. It, What's right? up, homie? Yes, sir. Anybody else? I got one, but if you want to, I don't know the timing and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, we got probably about 10 minutes. I got one more question. Yeah. Get it out. Get it out now. Just one more. God, um, just a question because when I was going through this, I think all of us can um, can uh, sort of uh, can connect to this. How has your immediate family, i.e., maybe mom, dad, etc. I like the smile there, right? Because I have my sisters. How 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 did that play out? When I dropped those jewels, I went over to my home and put a Taj video, and my mom fell asleep on the couch. You know what I mean? <laughs> So, and my sister and I have battles now about this stuff. It's crazy to try. So I'm just wanting, maybe you can relate to us so we can all maybe connect. How has that played out with your immediate family? If you want to discuss that. Or, or, um, there, or if there are any... Yeah. My mom, my mom and my sister, like my close mom and my sister, they're like diehard Christians, bro. Yeah. Diehard. I can't yeah. tell you. Nothing. Yeah. It's crazy, eh? So I don't even, I don't even bust the signs down to them because it's like, I know it ain't time. And I'm not necessarily here to hurt nobody. So it's just like... I keep it neutral. I don't, honestly, I don't even. I know they see. They must see some of it. Right? They see it, but it's like I don't necessarily be like, yo, mom. I talked to my mom the other day, and I told her, I'm like, yo, we was here before slavery, trying to get rid of that, because my mom always told me, it's like, yo, you, you're Cherokee, Cherokee. You trying to be wow. from a Cherokee tribe? She always tell me that. So they knew. She knew it was in her for, for her to tell me that she's from Alabama. But so she was like, yeah, you're you're part of Cherokee tribe. Like, hmm. All right, cool. And my mom. I don't want Indian. I thought Indian was over, That's right. over there, but I'm like, all right. So that so they know, but it's the indoctrination that keeps them yeah. not able to, to take that leap because once they get it, and this is what we've talked about here, once once mom gets it, it's over. You're responsible. Right. You don't have to worry about, you know, you're not in that space of like, oh well, you know, like we said, that God out there, that Jesus there and all that stuff is like, oh, you know, oh. That means I mean I really gotta be responsible for it. You see that Loki happens to me, or so it's like um far as my my cousins, my cousin was a preacher. I brought him into Christianity. I'm front, he older than me, like 37. He was he been a preacher for like the past six years. He hit me up like um New Year's, like around New Year's time. He was like, yo, bro, he's like, that's something not right, bro. 